There are some dynamic tools in PixInsight that require the user to interact with the image. One example of this is Dynamic PSF, which models the point sources in our image. Dynamic PSF requires the user to select the stars. When we open the tool and click on a star, the dynamic session begins. We know this because we can see that dynamic mode is enabled here. When we click on more stars, they appear in the list with all their parameters. All the dynamic tools in PixInsight lock the image that we're working with. This is because dynamic tools need to collect data from the image, so no other tools can modify the image while the dynamic tool is in use. For example, if we open histogram transformation and try to apply it, we get this error message saying that the image is being used by an active dynamic interface. Once we've done everything we need to here, we can cancel the dynamic session by clicking on this button. There are other tools that, as well as needing user interaction, need to be executed on the image. For example, Dynamic Crop. In this tool, we select a rectangle and an angle of rotation. Once we've selected the area and angle we want, we click on Execute. We can save the dynamic tool parameters we've configured in an icon. But with Dynamic Crop, we need to save the icon before we execute the process. If we save it after we've executed it, our rectangle won't have been defined. As you can see now, the rectangle covers the whole image. What we need to do is open the tool, select our rectangle and angle of rotation, then save the icon. Why is this? It's because once we've cropped the image, the tool resets the data. Another frequently used dynamic tool is Dynamic Background Extraction, or DBE. We use this tool to model gradients. First, we click on the image to define the symmetry center of the gradients and activate the dynamic session. Then, we start clicking on points in the image to select samples of the background. In this case, we're selecting a few rings of samples. Once we've selected all the points for the background model, we click on Execute. If we execute like this, DBE generates a new image, the background model. But if we tell it to correct the image, the execution modifies the image. What does this mean in practice? It means that the samples are collecting the data again from the image in its current state. This means that if the gradients haven't been completely corrected, we can execute DBE repeatedly in the same session until the gradients are corrected. We can even add more samples if we need to. We can also modify parameters during the dynamic session. Or we can modify the samples themselves. Once the result of the background correction is stable, we can save the process. This icon will contain all the current sample positions and sizes, parameters, and local background measurements. To finish, we cancel the dynamic session.